Hi, right, and welcome to the Multiverse Part 2 Facts. So, this is the facts that Dylan discovered while, while I was looking at my old Passion Time project. Yes. Alright. You explain this. Yes, because I just did this all before the video. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You explain this. Alright. So, over here... Where should we start? Let's, let's go on. Give me five, give me five. Uh, whose stuff is this? Not mine. I don't know. Okay. So let's start. First of all, the only thing I can really explain is this part. Yeah. yeah. So, so why don't you explain okay. that part and then I'll do this part. So the multiverse, if it exists, there's going to be Earth, Earth, it will exist. The Mars, it exists. The Sun, it exists. If there's a multiverse, oh, yeah, oh, Mars, Sun, too. So Actually, you could also do it in like a, in the back. To, in yeah, 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 yeah. So now let's move on to more complicated stuff. Well, before it gets more into detail, where I can't explain because Dylan found the fact. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this, over here, here is it. Right here. Let's just say. Go through and you're gonna look like that. Let's. Yeah. You could. That's that's later on. Let me describe it. Okay. So over here, let's just say you're going at. Um, 255 miles per hour uh, interstellar fan. I calculated how fast he went in he was circling around. Um, okay, so after you go on 255 miles per hour, you're in the hospital room. AK, we're most likely going to die. Um, you get to shorter up here and you get thrown out. And let's just say you come out at 1,053 miles per hour. So now, that is a 778. Uh, the math is right there. Difference. Yeah, the math is right here. That's probably that. I'm trying to point to it. Yeah. So right here is the white hole. Over here is black hole. As you can see from my nose over here, black holes actually go in and white holes go out. White holes push out white and anything that's inside it. Black holes suck in. So it's very rare to find like the little portal hole between white and black hole. It's very rare. We haven't discovered it yet, Wait, but we have found a white hole. Is it, po it would it be possible that a black hole could know, be like this? A black hole no, usually no, starts out as a star. And over time, it will grow and grow and grow and grow and grow until it reaches its full um, density. And then it implodes on itself and then turns into what I like to call a black hole. Or no, yeah. Yeah, or the, the yeah, or the supernova. Okay. So let's explain more into the map. Okay, so as you as you can tell, I told you all about that. This is 778 uh, miles per hour difference. Now over here, uh, this happens when you're around here. I like to call that. Uh, I already told you the impossible zone because once you're right here, hole. it's where it sort of distorts you. Nobody has that's, ever made it through there. That's the wormhole. Well, has anybody ever gotten to the black hole? Uh, if I mean, some people have, but they've never come back. Yeah. So let's. Where Where is it? It's like it's far away. It, uh, let's let me just look it up. No, not yet. No, no, no. Okay. So let's just say the possible storm is sort of like the Bermuda Triangle, but like in the movies, you know where there's that big tornado in the middle. Say you're a boat right here. And you sail over to this right here. You'll get sucked in and you'll get distorted. Now, if you watch uh, Journey, Island, you can see in the movie that they get uh, transported to this mysterious island. And they're like over here somewhere. And there's a little portal right here. And they end up going into this different world that has basically a bunch of different stuff in it. And it's like the opposite universe. They basically go through a different dimension. So now, let me explain the math on this. This is basically the black hole, right? This is the white hole. So, you see that? So, let's just say the white hole and the black hole have a different wormhole. It's not shaped normally like this one over here where it's like a little tube and there's like a small little hole in the middle, aka the Let's say 
Just down that goes back up. Like that. You will probably be entering the possible zone. Around since you're going 250 miles per hour, you might get out of the barrier of the time loop, and you might uh, be in this um, like endless time loop, endless time loop of space, and you might go out. And let's say you, know, you go down here, probably not going to survive the impossible zone, and you're going to come back up here. Out and but you don't, you come out back here and you're in the different universe. How, f how far would you get into a black hole before you die? It's, well, you wouldn't really die in a black hole, but you sort of would. Your body would sort of just like expand into nothingness. But you would also die uh, from hunger and thirst because you don't have anything there to protect you. It would be very cold and stuff like that. If, let's say you're in it, let's say you're... Like, you're, you're able to get to the black hole and you go that way, would you die in the Indian pod? Like, how far could you go? Let's just say you're right here in the black hole. Uh, you make it out of the barrier. You accidentally make it out of the barrier. Now, that's what happens in uh, Interstellar. He make it, makes it out of the barrier, and then once he's in, he's basically in like this uh, area where there's it's uh, Meg's room, and um, in the beginning of the movie, it's him, and he's pushing the books, and she always thought that, oh, it's like gravity, and the dad always thought it was gravity, but it was always him, and she found out that he's always going to be like stuck there. So, but he was like 15... 59, 43. Let's just say he comes back around then. It's going to happen again, and he's going to be there with Meg again. So he's basically in an infinite time loop if you make it out of the barrier. But if you don't, once you get to the impossible zone, it's basically, as you know, impossible to actually make it through. It's not impossible. The chances are probably... Chances are very slim. It's like 0.0 times 1,000 point one. That's how likely of a chance you have getting through. That's still if you're selling like five million people. One, or like five people might make it through. Now let's just say... That would be hard to do. We find another planet, right? And you find another planet over here, five million light years away. So you wouldn't actually be doing the mission. You just do it. And you may not even need to do any homework. You just do the research and the website. Right, five million light years. So let's just say you make this journey, probably not going to survive unless you go into this habitation sort of uh, state where your body just does not age and you're sort of just there, which is not physically possible. But let's just say you do make it. Now, I have done some research, and um, the closest possible black hole, well, it's sort of like in the middle, is actually five million light years away. So it could actually be like right here, and people are on this, colonizing it, you know, making it their home and stuff. Well, we don't know this is like... If no one's ever, if no one's ever made it back from the black hole, couldn't that mean they actually got to the white hole? Well, that's what we haven't figured out. Because if um, no one's made it back, either they're dead, either they they're went dead, through, they lost communication, or they got through. Yeah, either they're either they died and they lost communication, or, or they, they went through, through and uh, they we lost, lost communication, communication to us, and they're not and they're not in our universe now. I mean, really I like, thinking about it, I did see a theory in the Netflix show uh, Stranger Things. It's called uh, the fly and the tra and the trapeze. So right here, right here. Let's just say, since you know a fly can go on upside down, top or bottom, the fly is right here. He can go up there or down there. Let's just say I'm the trapeze. Blocking with your body. I'm the trapeze, right? I can't go up, I can't go down there because I don't have, um, Newton's law, you know, whatever comes up must come down. I can't go under that or else it fall all the way down, but the fly can. The fly, aka something that could go through the white hole, there, could come out the white hole. So, let's just say it does. A person makes it through and shoots out, okay? In the process of it, it might die, or we might just lose communication, like Connor said. 
but there is a chance that he actually makes it, and he's on E2, M2, or this other planet over here. If you, if even if you would make it to E2, if there's if there's people living there and it's not as advanced, what, if you, then what are your chances of surviving on E2? You'll have to colonize, and you have to do all that stuff. If it's like a war zone. Um, it's going to be impossible to colonize unless people are already living there. Uh, Got to think about you know, wait, wait, what resources we have on that. Wait, how can it be a war zone if people aren't living there? Well, that's what we talked about in the last video, is that there could be people living there and they already have a war zone going on, and you just enter that war zone. So, uh, I think that's it. So, bye. Bye.